The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. That is Buddy Lee, number 18, John Sage, number 73, the co-captains of LSU. On the other side, Dan Schneiss, number 22, Jerry Mortaw, number 42 of Nebraska. The, cost, uh, the toss of the coin in a moment, Vance Carlson is the referee who will be tossing that coin. He is now introducing Wendell Winkler, the linesman, Alex George, the backfield judge, Cliff Norville. They started the day third in the nation. There is the toss of the coin. Talking to Dan Schneiss, now talking to John Sage. And obviously, Nebraska is going to get its hands on the football first, going against that number one rushing defense. And LSU will kick off. Stanford behind Jim Plunkett. Beat Ohio State 27-17. Notre Dame upset Texas 24-11. Nebraska fields they can be number one. The Orange Bowl for 1971 is underway. Johnny Rogers at the 12. The 20, great speed, breaks to the outside and across the 35 and near the 40-yard line. Buddy Lee, number 18, is the quarterback. Or rather, Jerry Taggy, 14, the quarterback. I'm sorry, as Kinney swings out in motion, Taggy's got the ball, flips, has his man, Jerry List. Wide receiver. To the right side, Taggy with the football. Here's Rogers again, cut down by John Sage, number 73. Angles wide to the right. Rogers slotted right. This is Kinney picking up a couple of yards. Flags go down. Taggy back to throw. And running out of room. And the flag is down at the 44-yard line. Sage again made the tackle there. Hughes has had a couple of punts blocked. Gets a low pass from center. High kick and short. It'll hit at about the 30. Bounds inside the 20. Burns will let it go as it goes inside the 10, but it's going to be marked back near the 20-yard line. Jim Benglis is the up man in that eye as it's a power eye to the left. Number 43. Cantrell gets the call and perhaps a yard. Second down and nine. Cantrell, who is a workhorse, picks up another couple of yards. Chris Danton has now come into the backfield. Number 32. The fake to Danton. Lee is in trouble and gets out of it for the moment and is now dragged down by Perriard inside the 10-yard line. And it'll be fourth down. By averaging a little bit better than 37 yards per kick, kicks another high one. Rodgers has it back on the 47-yard line for LSU number 26. Taggy still has the football, looking to throw. Throwing deep downfield and 10 for List, and it is up in the air and broken up. On second down 10. That is Orduna who is in, in motion. Taggy pitching back to Schneiss, his fullback, who has good yardage, and gets down near the 30-yard line. He is for, again, motion against Nebraska. Taggy looking deep again, intended for the tight end. List just can't get to it. Third down play, and Taggy throwing a lot here in the early going. Looks again for Engels. Not enough for the first down across the 40 to the 39-yard line. Jeff Hughes in to do the kicking. Hughes obviously angling for the sidelines, and the ball goes down the right side, bounding, and goes into the end zone. Gifty, Coffee and Taggy are the receivers. Jones taking his time, and he is in the crowd again, and he's down again. Now the ball is picked up by Willie Harper. And down he goes. And it belongs to Nebraska. Harper just took the ball away. And Taggy's just going to run that clock as he falls down. Second down nine. That is Kinney getting across the 40-yard line. And... Taggy keeps the ball, pursued the ball, is loose across the field and belongs to LSU with 
52 seconds left at the 40-yard line. Arthur Davis shook it loose. Burt Jones is back under a tremendous rush. Steps up, throws, and it is intercepted by number 45, Bob Terrio. Nebraska gets it back with 45 seconds left. Daggy goes down to one knee. Tennessee 34, Air Force 13. That was the final in the Sugar Bowl this afternoon in New Orleans. 17, Nebraska third ranked in the nation. 10-0-1. If it wins tonight, we'll certainly say we are number one. They've got 14 seconds to go. The clock is running. Kenny is saying we're number one. It's going to run out. LSU is out of timeouts. Nebraska, after Texas and Ohio State loses, wins. Now, Charlie McLendon, I know, is disappointed as he runs after Bob Devaney of Nebraska, but I am sure that Charlie McLendon will go home, as will Bob Devaney, knowing that this was one of the finest collegiate bowl games we have seen in many, many years. And, Al, we cannot leave this scene without a few final words from you. Well, this is one kind of a football game, Jim, when both teams must be terribly proud. Baton Rouge, you can be awfully proud, and I'm sure Lincoln, Nebraska, must just feel great. All right, once again, the final score. Nebraska, 17, could be number one. LSU, a great battle, 12.